issues, industry issues, and in part of the industry issue, we discuss ourselves and say we need to look at ourselves inwardly as a country, and particularly ourselves because we are in a well-placed position as industry leaders to discuss the challenges and solutions that can change and accelerate adaptation of ICT services in the country. We discussed very well. It was a big debate. We, luckily enough, we had empirical data. And uh, we finalized and say we need a partner in government. So we were lucky enough to approach His Excellency the President to have a conversation with him on the challenges we face as an industry. And he was courteous enough to be able to give us an appointment one morning, Sunday morning, before his official trip to France. And uh, we were there at 7 o'clock. We sat down with him. We explained the process. And in the process, we agreed. And he said, we'll support the government, we'll support you guys. And we kept on discussing Vitu Matatu. Affordable smartphone, affordable smartphone, affordable smartphone. Amma inaitu mambo matatu. Lakini yetu nilikuwa vitu vitatu. So, Your Excellency, and I think what your leadership, we must congratulate you and thank you for supporting us and believing in us. Your believing in us gives us confidence to think differently as we look at solutions of how we can enable this country. I think in a major story, Gidogo Sasa, let me go to the written speech. Today marks a transformative moment for Kenya, an inflection point in our journey to become a digitally empowered economy. As we unveil our local assembled smartphone, we stand at the cusp of an exciting new era, where one that promises unparalleled digital opportunities for Kenya, for whole Kenya. It would be remiss for me not to acknowledge the invaluable role played by His Excellency the President, his forward-thinking government. Their vision, dedication, and unwavering commitments have been the bedrock upon which this initiative was built. Through favorable, timely intervention and astute policy decision, the government has created an environment where ideas like our affordable smartphone device initiative can drive. These actions echo a profound understanding that technology is not more than just a tool, but it's a vehicle for progress, a pathway to a brighter future. We embarked on this journey with a clear vision to democratize data and make the dream of digital transformation realizable for every Kenyan, especially considering that today over 60% of mobile subscribers are 2G. And I will give facts. We have 60, 66 million SIM cards. But when you, some of you, you have two, three SIM cards for, I, for other reason or the other, but averagely it is two. So we have persons, 33 million, who has a phone. So out of that, 60% of it is Mulika Muizi, has been uh, in Debo as a reference. And so with immense pride, I can say that we are one step closer to that dream. But it's not just about a device, it's about unlocking potential, breaching the digital divide and fostering an inclusion. It is, it's about ensuring that Kenya, irrespective of the economical standing, can, can access the digital world and the merit opportunity it presents, power mukononi. EDAC has an installed capacity of producing around 3 million smartphones per year. And I want to assure you, Your Excellency, that not only that we have the capacity to produce the smartphones, three million smartphones, with capacity to expand, but we have also capacity to produce routers, wireless access point, point of cell device, POS, those are POS, tablets, smart meters, both for electricity and water, laptops, and many other digital devices. We have that capacity. With flexibility to multiply the capacity, the production capacity, we have ability to meet not only our local demand, but position Kenya as an export to the greater East Africa region. This, has, this is the second successful consortium initiative. One first consortium initiative was the issue of the undersea cable. When we walked down in 2009 in partnership with government and all operators, including Telecom Kenya, Safaricom, JGL, uh, liquid and uh, 
which other company there i think those are the major companies which were there and we are we have to create a, a project of with it is a lot of united emirates we are able to conceptualize a project and an undersea cable and today everybody is bringing undersea cable but the insurance for the republic is the team's cable uh, your excellency the other thing that i want to mention is that recently i saw you visiting congo brazzaville nataka ato kidogo ukienda huko upeange sawadi Give out sawadi your phone so we make sure that you constantly supply you ndio ukionyesha au unasema ukiona hii ni mzuri i will show you the place pole pole i know you are our biggest marketer your excellency and uh, i believe in you that you will be able to help us the ripple effect of this initiative are boundless from me learning to telemedicine from online business to digital banking e government services this smartphone will empower individual invigorate business inject fresh momentum in our national digital transformation strategies we are also creating employment and positively impacting the community we forge ahead to create this reality we must be cognizant of the threat of cheap illegal import imports the potential to slow down or reverse the gains we strive for we appeal to the government through the relevant government agencies to help us seal the loopholes that allows for entry of these devices into our market we must deal with this threat very decisively for us to realize the full benefit of this venture your excellency unajua tunasikia we listen to its stories we have been told some come to some countries i don't want to be specific to the country and they do panya routes and they paid around by, by phone 50 cents us dollars without avoiding paying duty it is very unfortunate and we want we are willing as an industry to work together with relevant authorities to see whether we can adapt a technological approach or we can work with information system because at the end of the day is that we have ability in our networks to identify the ime number of the devices so we can really work together with KRA and the Ministry of ICT to be able to develop a long-lasting solution so that we can close these Panya routes. Uh, allow me, Your Excellency, uh, before I reach the conclusion, to take also this opportunity to thank all our service providers who have worked very hard, including the main contractors. I might not be able to name them, our employees, the technical team led by Mutiga and Cyrus, Sam, and Caro, and the legal team, the whole team, on behalf, in behalf of, and the entire board for working day and night to make sure that we are able to have a factory ready for you to open today. In conclusion, on behalf of East Africa Device Assembly Consortium, I express my heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency the President, his government, every individual who has been instrumental in bridging in bringing this vision to life together we are ushering a new digital age for kenya catalyzing progress and laying the ground work for a brighter more connected future for all kabla sijasema ya mwisho unajua these things is very historical because it happens once in a lifetime and if you miss it something else will happen you know e minister your Excellency, I don't know if I'm in Alisumbua Sisi. Alisumbua Sisi, and I put your factory, and I said, My ear, Kitukani, we are opening this day. You happen to not be a coach and coach to go and be a Missouri, Missouri, and be a Missouri Excellency. So, thank you, Waziri, for what you did. Your push delivered the factory. The other people I want to congratulate also from. If we have the Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury, Njiguna, Professor Njiguna and Dr. Chris Kipto, they facilitated a lot in terms of what we were doing. In fact, when we had a big challenge in terms of publication of East Africa a digital remission scheme, we worked tirelessly with them and it was effective. The other person I want to thank is my friend, who is our chairman in the industry, Mary Wamboi. Thank you very much for coming, Madam.
So to close unajua sasa sababu tumeongea Kiswahili unajua your excellency we you are better than us because you know we don't practice all the time sasa nasem 